May God bless you abundantly. Uh, this is Edward Sentongo, and my friend, this is a prophetic alert. Uh, and this is a warning uh, for us to pray for America. Um, I'm doing this out of obedience because of what the Lord showed me, and this has been a number of years, about five years ago before COVID. The Lord uh, showed me in a very vivid dream a dream in which I was taken up uh, in the spirit. And I was up in the, uh, um, in the air in what seemed to be like a plane. We were heading towards um, Africa. And in uh, that dream, I saw a missile, or what looked like a missile, a very big missile, coming from that side. It looked like it was coming from china uh, or north korea one of those two nations uh, and all of a sudden the lord took me uh, in that dream on the ground and in that dream i saw myself uh, wearing what appeared to be like a space suit a space suit uh, white uh, with all the headgear and i think there was like a covering on my eyes the glass of my eyes and uh the uh, uh the gas mask but i did not see anyone around me there, there was just how what appeared to be ashes it was like a different planet altogether um i understood in that dream very clearly that it was an attack from that missile and that uh, uh people have been wiped away there was no one uh, no one on the ground. And so I woke up, um, of course, it was a very um, uh, vivid dream and it shocked me to the core. And so I had to pray that night. And I went back to sleep. And then when I went back to sleep, I dreamt again. This time around in uh, the setting was New York. I like to believe it was New York around the Times Square. And in the um, uh, setting of New York, I was among the people that were in New York, but there were many other people in New York. And all of a sudden, there was what appeared to be like an attack. And in that attack uh, were helicopters, which appeared to be like gunship, helicopter uh, gunships. And they were attacking, and there were bullets coming down on the ground from, uh, from the air. And these helicopters were... Be come between the buildings, the high-rise buildings. And there was a lot of blood everywhere. There was a lot of people uh, uh, taking cover um, uh, for their running for their lives. It was so scary. I, I saw a lot of blood on the streets of uh, what appeared to be in New York, uh, the Times Square area. And the reason I'm sharing this dream now is um, I didn't know back then and I hadn't really, uh, by that time, uh, been following the uh, so-called nuclear uh, uh, nuclear war that is going on right now. Not nuclear wars in the sense of war, but the race for uh, nuclear weapons and the race for supersonic um, uh, weapons and all these nations running around and wanting to be superpowers as far as nuclear warfare is concerned so I, I i i did not understand it then but much later after covid and what ensued after covid to this date i now understand and so the reason i'm sharing this dream now is that we need to pray for america we need to pray for new york specifically because it appears there is an impending attack that the enemy is planning uh, either from China or North Korea. The people that I saw in the dream, uh, that were in the dream, in their helicopter gunships, and they even on the ground, uh, holding guns and shooting around. I, I, I forgot to, to add that some of them were on the ground and shooting everyone that they were seeing. There was a lot of blood on the streets. And I remember myself taking cover and uh, on the streets as I saw all these. And then I woke up. 
So clearly there is an attack uh, or an impending attack um, that the enemy is planning. When we pray, the reason why the Lord shows us some of these things is that uh, we ought to pray. And I, I pray for the nation of America. I always intercede for America. The Lord has put America in my heart, uh, as well as other parts of the world and the nations around the world. But specifically, this dream was uh, a warning regarding America. My friends, if you are a prayer warrior, share this message with others um, who are prayer warriors. Pray for America. Pray for America. Pray for New York. I don't know which other parts that the enemy is planning to attack, but let's pray for America. This is a warning for all of us to pray for America. As a matter of fact, I'm going to pray. Father, I thank you for your loving kindness and for your tender mercies, which endure forever, that whatever the enemy is planning, that whatever the enemy is planning, wherever the enemy is planning from King of Glory, that those snares, those traps, those evil plans of the enemy will be destroyed and they will not come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I join my faith with, with whoever is listening at the sound of my voice. I join my faith in my prayer of agreement that the enemy will not prevail over America. I decree and declare the finished work of Christ on the cross over America. May the blood of Jesus Christ protect America against the evil one. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, we repent. We repent on behalf of America. Your word declares, repent therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out and that if my people that are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn away from their wicked ways. Lord, you promise that you forgive our iniquity and come down and heal this land. Lord, we stand on your precious word that we may see times of refreshing from your presence, Heavenly Father, and that Christ may be sent to restore all things. Lord, that you would restore America. Lord, that you would forgive America for the sins, for the abominations in America. Lord, that you would preserve your people, that you would preserve the nation of America, that you would protect the nation of America. Lord, we repent on behalf of the leadership of America, where there's been any kind of decisions that have brought a curse upon this land. Lord, that that curse will be broken. Jesus, Jesus, you became a curse, for cursed is the one who is hung on the tree, that we may receive the promise of a Holy Spirit by faith. Yes, that we may enjoy all the blessings that you promised our father Abraham, that through your seed are blessed all nations, the seed, the man Christ Jesus. Lord, we stand on your precious word and we intercede on behalf of America and we decree and declare divine protection in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that we may see a harvest of souls, that which you promised in Acts 2, 17 to 21. Yes, Lord, that in the last days I'll power up my spirit upon all flesh. You promise, King of glory, and your promises are yes, and in you that amen. You're not son of man to lie. Over America, King of glory, we decree and declare that they have to be filled with the knowledge of your glory, even as the waters cover the sea. Let us see, King of glory, that which you promised in Acts 2, 17 to 21, that in, in the last days I'll power up my spirit upon all flesh. Your daughters and sons shall prophesy. Young men shall have visions. Men shall have dreams. Men and women shall prophesy. Let it be in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. Rabba Baba Basa Charamanda Raba Shiaramanda Raba Kaya. Riba Baba Baba Shiaramanda Ribu Shiaramanda Raba Kaya. My God, I give you thanks and praise. For you are the possessor of heaven and earth. You are the king of glory. You are the king of kings. You are the Lord of lords. You are the Alpha and Omega. You are the beginning and the end. You are the first and the last who is, was, and is to come the same yesterday today and forever jesus that you protect america that you provide for america that you would prevail over the nation of america that you prevail over the enemy that is fighting the nation of america that you would preserve america jesus that we may see a mighty harvest of souls that which you promised that the harvest truly is plentiful, but the laborers are few. And that we only need to pray the Lord of the harvest to send laborers in his harvest. Lord Jesus, it is your harvest. We stand in the gap for America. Lord, that you would prevail over the enemy, that we may travel in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son 
son of the living God. We come to your throne of grace to find mercy and grace to help in this time of need. Lord, you are the great high priest, Jesus the Christ, who has passed through the heavens. But we do not have a high priest who does not sympathize with our weaknesses. For you are tempted even as we are in all points, yet without sin. You condemn sin and the flesh. Lord, even over America, King of glory, that that which you paid for on the cross, yes, that we would see the righteousness of God for righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach to a people that we may see your righteousness. Yes, King of glory. Oh, Lord, we seek first the kingdom of God and all your righteousness over America, that your people may be saved in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Whatever the enemy is planning, will be nuclear attacks. We notify those nuclear attacks. We decree and declare that their nuclear weapons are jammed. They will not touch the soil of America in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of a living God. We decree and declare divine protection. Angels of fire angels of strength. Yes, angel Michael, angel Gabriel, all the angels, angels of heaven. My God, my God, I give you things and praise to be this part of America in the name that is above all names, the name of Jesus Christ. There will be a reverse of the evil plans of the enemy in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, even as we repent. For they set your immorality, the idolatries, the sorceries. Yes, we repent, King of glory, that we may be converted, that our sins may be blotted out. And Lord, you ask us to pray for all leaders to make prayers and supplications. Yes, Yes, to intercede for all men. All men. All men. For you desire that all men be saved. To intercede on behalf of our leaders, all kings and all those in authority. That we may lead a peaceable life with all goodness and reverence. Abba, have your way. Even though we understand, King of Glory, that there has to be a shaking, Lord. But even as, even as you spoke through your servant, Haggai, that yet once more, not only will I shake the heaven and the earth, but also the sea and the land. Yes, Lord. I will shake not only the earth, but also the heavens, the sea and the land, that I may bring the desire of all nations to all nations. You say, King of glory. We pray, King of glory, that that shake up may come to pass, even as you say, King of glory, that the latter glory in the latter temple may be better than the former glory in the former temple. That even in the church, King of Glory, that it be a shake-up of everything that needs to be shaken up, Lord. That only that which of is of your kingdom may remain. That only the kingdom of God may remain. The kingdom of God is in us, Lord. Greater are you who are in us than he that is in the world. Any hatred, any racism, any abomination, any loss of a of a flesh of a heart, covetousness, pride of life, any lie of the enemy, deception of Satan, blasphemies, quenching of the Holy Spirit, giving of the Holy Spirit in the land, or they be purged from this land from the hurts of the people. Lord, you promised the spirit of Elijah to bring the hurts of the fathers to the children, back to the children, the hearts of the children, back to their fathers. Let it be in this time and this season, in Jesus' mighty name. So be it. Amen. God bless you abundantly. My friend, I shared that uh, uh, prophetic dream because I believe that we are living at such a time when we need to watch now more than ever, to watch and pray lest we fall to temptation. And the Lord is looking for prayer warriors like you to agree with him that the will of God may be done here on earth as it is in heaven, that his kingdom may come. I say may the kingdom of God come. May his will be done here on earth, even as it is in heaven. In Jesus' mighty name, to him be the honor and the glory, the power, the honor and the glory forever.
Lord, yours is the kingdom, of the power, and the glory forever. Worthy are you, Lamb of God, that was slain for the forgiveness of our sins. May your precious blood speak, and may your blood prevail over the works of the enemy. In Jesus' mighty name. God bless you abundantly. In the name of Jesus.